Welcome back to another battery test. Haven't done one of these for a while, so I've got some EFEST 18650s in. These are rated to 3100 milliamp an hour. Um, I thought I'd get these in to test them. Haven't um, used EFEST for a while. The last ones that I got in, I didn't actually have a tester to test the capacity. These come with the scratch off panels. You'll notice that the uh, wrap looks a bit different from some of the older ones. So you can go onto the EFEST site and double check the uh, serial number to make sure that they're the genuine article. Just comparing it to the um, LG HG2, which is quite a popular battery. Now this particular one has a button top to it, whereas the LG is a flat top, and the length's about uh, 67 or just under millimeters. Also comparing it now to a protected ICR cell. Now, it's a different type of battery, different chemistry. Um, just bear in mind that you're getting an unprotected cell with the EFEST. And these came in uh, normal packaging. It's quite standard to get uh, a box package that isn't from the original manufacturer. They buy them in bulk. Another option is to add a magnetic a spacer on the top if you want to convert cells to a button top but in this case I just wanted to try these cells because I could use them for a number of devices now it's worth pointing out that most vape products use the flat uh, batteries like this particular one so flat top cells usually um, so double check on that if you are using uh, vaping and stuff like that batteries for that so this particular cell won't fit in that the reason i got this wasn't for vape products it was for a torch i thought i'd test it on the olight h2r nova this is a very high power torch at the turbo mode and what happens is with the uh, normal battery i put in here once you kick it up to the turbo mode it works fine for the other ones the protection circuit kicks in so that's obviously going to be a problem for some batteries but with the efest this can handle a higher drain, kick it right up to turbo, and you have no problems at all. You can fire away, use that. This is the charge capacity. Both of these came in above the quoted rate, but the most important one we're looking for is the discharge capacity, which gives us a more accurate figure. And again, good performance above the label spec on this. So I'm pretty happy with these. Just going to have long-term performance to see how they stack up. If there's any problems, I'll let you know. I'll put the specs on the screen there. You'll see that you can... A fast charge these you also have a, a continuous drain rate of around about 10 amps so these are not the highest drain batteries out there but they could be quite useful for a number of different applications thanks for watching the video don't forget to stay tuned for some more battery tests that i'll be doing shortly